is Hull Trende. Let's go see. This is Hull's claim to fame. It's not the Golden Gate Bridge, it's Humber Bridge. But unlike the Golden Gate Bridge, it doesn't have San Francisco behind it. It's got, well, uh, Hull. Today I'm back in my hometown of Hull, showing Lewis around and trying to show him all the trendy spots to see if he thinks Hull is going to be trendy. So let's go. It feels so good to be back. Most people from the north of England could tell you two things about Hull. One is the Umber Bridge, and two is this sci-fi building here that looks like, I don't know, something out of the future, but it's actually an aquarium called The Deep. Yes, Hull's famous for two things, The Deep and Chip Spice. Oh, I said Humber Bridge and Chip Spice. Oh, three things, The Deep, <laughs> Humber Bridge and Chip Spice. But if you're not of the north of England, then you probably think about Hull and think, gritty, grimy, dock town in north of England. And that's probably about it. And you won't be far wrong. The docks here have been doing the city's thing for years and years and years, shipping stuff in and shipping stuff out. And that's where we're heading now, because we've heard that there's a whole new development called the Fruit Market, and the docks have all been redeveloped since we were here last. Right, so back in the day when we lived here, Sal took me to this takeaway, right? Called Yankee Land. And she made it out like, oh, do you know what? It's like the best place ever. It's got that chip spice, best milkshake. She took me there and I swear down, it was crap. Honestly, the chips were like soggy, had this weird spice on it, yeah. And the milkshakes were like Yazoo or something. We're not even Yazoo, more like Nesquik. Rubbish. Now she's gonna take me for a hash brown that's got chip spice on. Apparently, best hash brown in the world. And it's at Nibble on the Dock, which this place has been in loads of places, so I think it's going to be good. So this place has been in loads of places. Well, this place has been in loads of places. It's been on loads of YouTube videos that I've seen already, and like, you know, just like Instagram and stuff, so I just thought, let's go and check it out. Right, this is Hull's Fruit Market, but don't let the name kid you, it's not about fruit no more. In the past, it was an actual place where they kept real fruit in warehouses, hence the name. So back in the day when we used to live here, none of this was here. Like, there's tons of cool restaurants down here now, and none of this was here. This was all just like, you know, old buildings, derelicts and stuff. That fruit market, it's got like art installations, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go and check out Nibble in a minute. When I can find Sal, I reckon she's got stuff in some of the shops, but let's see. Let's go see if we can find her. I'm loving it around here. And just over there is Flower and Feast, which is one of my favorite cafe bars. Just got a proper car. <laughs> what are we all doing here? <laughs> we're just talking about you yeah. So, just bumped into an old friend and she said that the wait at Nibble is 45 minutes. So we're going to try the takeaway version, see if we can get what we need to get. Oh, not. <laughs> Ultra crispy, gotta say that. They're, yeah, they're proper nice, aren't they? I can definitely taste it. And the spice on there is good. I can definitely taste it. Mmm, tastes like home. Bloody chip spice and all. What is wrong with these guys? 45 minute wait in there for a table. Some people even, they even told them it was an hour and a half, but there was like more than a four. So this place is obviously really good. Um, People were prepared to wait the hour and a half as well. That's the main thing. One of the weirdest things about Hull was that you couldn't get BT internet. You could only use the service provider that Hull said you had to use, that was KC Internet. And weirdly, in London and in England, all the phone boxes are red, but not here. They're white. Very muddy, probably full of police and very disgusting. But I call it. Look at these lovely docks. So I think at this point we've kind of established that Hull's all right. Is it as cool as like London or Manchester? Absolutely not. Has it gone under? Loads of regeneration since we lived here. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so trendy cafes, loads of bars, cocktail bars, cute little um, boutique shops, all like kind of like from local makers and stuff. Um, yeah, and everything covered in chip spice. What more could you want? Really? Are you enjoying it, Lou? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I don't know about what more could you want than chip spice, 
<laughs> moving on that. Right, anyway guys, we're gonna cut this one here now, yeah? So just let us know what you reckon about. If you think you're gonna visit, let us know if there's anywhere that we should have gone when we're here, because we're probably gonna be back again soon, because Sal's dad still lives here. So, yeah. And I'm glad you said hull right. Hull. Hull. You just said the H. See right, you later. Bit, guys.